हेलो देयर स्टूडेंट्स दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम गेट 2006 एग्जाम इट्स अ टू पार्ट क्वेश्चन दैट मींस फोर मार्क्स इन टोटल टू मार्क्स फॉर ईच पार्ट लेट मी रीड आउट इट स्टेटमेंट देन वी विल सॉल्व इट कंसीडर टू कैश ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस फर्स्ट वन इज 32 kb टू वे सेट एसोसिएटिव विद 32 बाइट ब्लॉक साइज द सेकंड वन इज ऑफ सेम साइज बट डायरेक्ट मैप्ड The size of an address is 32 bits in both cases. A 2 to 1 multiplexer has a latency of 0.6 nanoseconds, while a k-bit comparator has a latency of k by 10 nanoseconds. The hit latency of set associative organization is h1, while that of direct mapped is h2. Okay, the value of h1 is and the second part of this question says value of h2 is okay so they are asking you to find the value of h1 and h2 that is hit latencies in case of two way set associative as well as in case of direct mapped now the cache that they have given you is 32 kb with a block size of 32b first of all let's discuss about direct mapped okay the second one having hit latency h2 so you can see the block size in both cases is 32b that means there will be 5 bits in block offset okay so this one will be 5 bits then there are 32k bytes in cache in total so number of lines will be number of lines in cache it will be total size of cache by size of one line that is 32 kb by 32 b this comes out to be 1 k okay that means 2 power 10 okay in total we have 2 power 10 lines in cache so line number field will be of 10 bits because log to the base 2 2 power 10 comes out to be 10 so these are 10 bits now they are saying size of address is 32 bit that means the entire physical address is of 32 bits this much part is 15 bits so obviously tag will have to be of 17 bits okay so the split for physical address is 17 10 and 5 in case of direct map okay we are talking up about the scheme to direct map and you obviously know that tag line number and block offset is the split for physical address in case of direct map only had it been set associative this line number would be replaced by set number okay anyways first let's solve the question for h2 so now you see how does direct mapped work i have explained it multiple times in the theory lectures as well as few videos of previous year questions but in theory lectures this has been explained in a great detail anyways let's just recap it so this address whatever address cpu generates will tell you the line number middle 10 bits will tell you the line number of cache where to look for okay for example say this line number says line 4 suppose these bits mean 4 in decimal okay so line number 0 1 2 3 4 that means we are talking about this line now there could be two possibilities either it is a hit or it is a miss how do we determine that if it's a hit or miss so you take these 17 bits from the address compare it with the tag of that corresponding line okay take these 17 bits and these 17 bits you compare them if both of them are same that means it's a hit if this tag part corresponding to this line number okay if it's different that means these two are not same that means it's a miss okay so from here you will just select this line okay this much part 
indicates that this line has to be selected. After selecting that, you will take all these tag bits and what you are going to do is you are going to compare it with these tag bits. Okay. So what will be the hardware required? This is a comparator. Okay. To compare uh, some bits. Now you know comparators can be of different sizes. This comparator has to be a 17 bit comparator. Okay. Because we need to compare these 17 bits with these 17 bits. That means you need a 17 bit comparator. Its delay will be k by 10. That means 17 by 10, which is 1.7. Okay, so 17 bit comparator. And its delay will be 1.7 nanoseconds according to the data given in question. Okay. So if it says, yeah, both of them are same, that will be a hit. If it says both of them are different, in that case, this will be a miss. Now, when I used to teach in offline classes, students had this doubt. We are also given that 2 ratio 1 mux has a latency of 0 0.6 nanoseconds. Then to select out of all these lines, to select only this specific tag, Corresponding to this line, we must have a multiplexer uh, logic. No, that's just overcomplicating things. To use multiplexer for this logic, you need to have a 2, ratio, two power 10 ratio 1 multiplexer. But we only have 2 power 1 ratio 1 multiplexer. Okay, now people argue that this could be used to implement a 2 power 10 ratio 1 mux, okay. But that is not required. We could simply use decoders, okay. If you use multiplexers, there will be multiple such multiplexer used, one for each bit. Instead, what is to be done is, you'll use decoders here and nothing is given about decoders, okay. So you can safely assume that delay of this, this circuit will be 0 nanoseconds, okay. Just neglect its delay. So 0 nanoseconds plus 1.7 nanoseconds comes out to be 1.7 nanoseconds, okay. So answer for this part is H2 is equal to 1.7 nanoseconds. Now let's calculate H1, okay. H1 is two-way set associative. You can simply guess that each set will have two lines, okay, two cache lines or two cache blocks. That means we are dividing total number of lines by two, okay. So if you have two power 10 lines, now you will be left with only two power nine lines. So this field has to be nine bits. Now making this field nine bits automatically means tag will be increased to 18 bits. Earlier it was 17. Okay. We have just shifted this division. We have just shifted this division by one bit. Okay. Let me just explain in a bit detail. So you see number of lines were 32 KB by 32 B. That is 1 K lines. Lines are 1 K. And it's two-way set associative. That means number of sets would be number of lines by two. Okay. How can I say that? See, total number of lines and cache is this much. Two-way set associative means each set is going to have two lines. So this is cache size by line size. That will give you number of sets and cache. I suppose I said line size. It is cache size divided by set size. Okay. That will give you number of sets. So cache size is 1k in terms of number of lines. Set size is 
2 in terms of number of lines each set has two lines so you will be left with 512 sets in cache and to address one of those sets you need 9 bits 512 is 2 ratio uh, 2 power 9 okay so in case of kv set associative mapping you have set number field okay instead of line number this is set number now this 5 is going to remain same same you have 9 bits here automatically you can calculate tag will be of 18 bits okay now what happens in this case is let's draw some sets before discussing it just see each set has two lines let me draw those sets So just see each set is having two lines now this set number will tell you which set could possibly contain this address okay so we can narrow down to any two lines of cache say this set number is set 0 set 1 set 2 set 3 say it it says we are discussing about set 1 that means this address has middle 9 bits equal to this middle 9 bits says this set uh, this address could be possibly present in set 1 only that means we have narrowed down to these two lines only if this address is found in cache it could be in this line or this line Okay, that means it could be present in any line of this set. Okay, now you see this, this set could be again selected with decoder logic. Okay, also we don't know delays of decoder logic. That means taking this much part and going to this set takes zero time. Okay, we can assume that uh, delay is zero in that case as we did here. Now after that what we are going to do is we are going to take both of these tags both of these tags will be compared with uh, the tag given in the address if any one of these matches we will say it is a hit but if this tag is not equal to this one as well as it is not equal to this one we will say it is a miss because this address could be present either here or here only no other line could contain this address. And we have seen that tag does not match with this one or this one. So it will be a mess. Okay. Now let's try to just draw the circuit. Now see, I have drawn this circuit. That means in our selected set, selected set, both of the tags will be taken and compared with the tag of address. That means two comparators of 18 bits will be required. Previously, we had this tag field of 17 bits, but in two way set associative, we just saw that it will be 18 bits. That means the comparator used in this case will be 18 bit one. Okay, that too we need two comparators. For two-way set associative, two comparators. For four-way set associative, we require four comparators and so on. But the thing is, both of these are running in parallel. Okay, whenever some address is given, they will start their operation at the same time only. They'll run in parallel. That means you need not multiply their delay by two. Okay, so delay will be considered only once, even though we are using two comparators. So their delay will be 18 divided by 10. For k bits, we have k by 10. 18 bits, 18 by 10. So this is 1.8 nanoseconds. Okay. After that, if any one of these matches, uh, if any one of these comparators say that yeah, the numbers are equal, either this or this, okay, we'll say it's a hit. That means we need to or their output okay but delay of or gate is not given as well so or gate you very well know can be uh, implemented by 2 ratio 1 mux 
वी हैव सीन इन डीसीएलडी वीडियोस मल्टीपल टाइम्स हाउ टू यूज दिस टू रेशो वन मार्क्स एज अ ऑर गेट ओके सो यू कैन कंसिडर दिस टू रेशो वन मार्क्स इज यूज इट हैज अ डिले ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स नैनो सेकेंड्स now see what's happening you are having 1.8 nanoseconds delay here and 0.6 nanoseconds delay here just add them both to find the hit latency in case of two way set associative mapping one thing one assumption that we have made is selecting this particular set okay selecting this much part takes no time because we haven't been told anything about the decoder delay okay so let's see which options do we get so h2 is 1.7 1.7 is option d for second part of this question answer is option d which is 1.7 nanoseconds so adding these two you get 2.4 nanoseconds so this one is option a 2.4 nanoseconds so answer to the first part of this question is option a 2.4 nanoseconds let me also write it okay 